What's going on guys, D-Legend here. It's been a very, very long time since I've recorded a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross video, but uh, today is June 29th, and it's actually the very last day of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So I'm kind of disappointed and just sad that I didn't actually make any other content beyond this video and the live stream that you guys probably saw before watching this video, but uh, here we are guys, we are going to record this video here and then I think I'll try to record a couple more so I can have them ready to go after this, but uh, just to celebrate the game a bit more and to appreciate it, but uh, here we are guys. Um, this video is basically going to be just a quick little overview of my profile, my account on this game, just to go over some of the records I have, to go over some of the medals I have in my album completion, and uh, all of that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for your support. Um, even if you don't watch my Yu-Gi-Oh videos, I know a lot of you guys are still subscribed to me and I really appreciate that. Um, hitting 2,500 subscribers solely based off of uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross is a big achievement for me personally and I honestly never thought I'd be a YouTuber to begin with. But uh, anyways, here we are guys. And uh, if you are new to the channel or if you guys are returning subscribers, definitely stay subscribed if you can. Toss this video a like and leave a comment. Tell me how you guys did with your profiles in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross or your accounts. And uh, here we go. So let's just go over... Actually, first and foremost, let's just go over my party members because I'm going to miss all these guys. I'm going to miss every single person that stuck with us till the very end. So we have Asu Geo, Skyro94, Alyssa, or Alisa, sorry I keep butchering that name, <laughs> John, Speedy, myself, Scrub, Tofu, Essa, who's also known as Anna, I believe, Raze, Shujin, Skullkid, Luna Wolf, Pietro, Altaria, which is Angel's alt account, uh, Eevee, I'm not, I think is also Angel's alt account, <laughs> Angel herself, Brandon, Zero, Sylveon, I feel like is also another <laughs> one of Angel's alt accounts, uh, Nate, Rocky, Danig, Marvin, Nish, Stancia, Stanisa, sorry, Orm, Max, Morpheus, and Grand. I think that's literally every single party member that we have currently. Yeah, that's all 30 of them. Um, it's been a pleasure to serve as your guys' party leader over the past few years. Um, and honestly, it's been it's been a lot of fun, you guys. So that's my party. Real quick, Gurzuri, saying bye to you guys. Um, next up, let's go over some records. So my player ID was 1121918, and uh, my name has always been D-Legend, I don't think I've ever changed that. Uh, days played, 1,777. I missed like 90-ish days because I haven't logged in for the last three months, ever since the announcement was made basically. So I think that was end of March, or early March, I could be wrong. Um, but I literally have not logged on since like that week of the announcement. So uh, yeah. Probably could have hit like 1850, 1860 days played. Uh, a lot of money spent, I don't even know what that number is to be honest with you. We're in the trillions I think. Uh, lots of avatar coins. Lots of money spent, but not as much as money earned. Medals sold 3588. Money earned for medals. Very interesting stats, guys. I, I do. I, these are such random stats. Like nobody really cares about half these things, even when the game was up and running. But I mean, they're kind of cool to uh, just go over. Medals collected: seventeen hundred and sixty-two. Power medals collected: upright. So they're all pretty even, other than magic for some reason. I guess they just didn't make as many upright magic medals, or else I just didn't pull them very often. <clears throat> for reverse, reverse power was the most popular in terms of what I pulled at least. Uh, total medals, 22 point, no. 241,379. <clears throat> uh, 17,476 17, metal fusions. Quite a few of those were great fusions, but not about, like just under 10%. Actually, that's way less than 10%. That's like 6%. 7%. Uh, wonderful metal fusions, not that many. Metals evolved, almost 4,000. Times Keyblade was strengthened, 2,800. That's pretty crazy. That's 2,800 sub-levels. That's wild. 
Metals purchased with jewels, holy moly, 17,382. Uh, and then we had a lot, a lot, a lot of six star medals. And what else do we have here? Adventure log. So quest completed, we had 37,162, or 64. <clears throat> we definitely did not complete all the objectives as, uh, because you're, you're usually supposed to get three objectives per quest, so I definitely did not complete all those objectives as I was supposed to, per se. But yeah, raid bosses, uh, enemies defeated, we defeated 21, or 216,940 Heartless, which is wild. That's pretty crazy, guys. Uh, own raid bosses fought 12,187, other raid bosses fought, um, or others raid bosses fought 14,148. Yeah, I like to just hop into others raid bosses when I could, not gonna lie, especially when I was at work, it was just so much easier than having to spawn and keep track of like, if I actually shared it with my party and stuff like that yet, so pretty cool, pretty cool stats. <clears throat> Total Lux, holy moly. I honestly have no idea what that number is, so I'm not even gonna try, but max Lux earned in a raid boss battle. That is quite a significant amount right there. Uh, I wanna know what you guys is, let me know in the comments below. Avatar boards completed 1,664, pretty cool. And then ranking log, best solo ranking 11, which is pretty solid um, considering free to play, or basically free to play. Um, best party ranking number one here, actually not here in uh, Anguis, but we were in Ursus and we ended up getting first place, I think two times. Best PVE ranking 32, and best PVP ranking 139th. Not terrible, not terrible. I will definitely take that. Moving on though, let's go into the album. I'm just gonna go back to the home screen so we get some new music in. All right, into the album, the good old album. What's our completion looking like right now? So currently we have 91.3%. And this might change slightly after I do some more pulls with my uh, live stream going on right after this. But uh, right now 91.3%, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Got all of the tier one medals fully maxed out and fully supernova which is awesome. You don't miss all these medals. Very, very cool, very nostalgic. 90 tier one medals in gen in total, I think. And then moving on, we have the tier twos. I never got the uh, three star version of Riku. Just like I never got the three star version of Mushu. But uh, all very cool medals nonetheless. It's just gonna be fun to go back and look at this. I don't know if I'll ever come back to look at this, but if I, in, in the odd chance that I do, I'd like to document this entire album, or as much as, of, as much of it as I have. One of my favorite medals from back in the day. Not so much Cloud, but... Diz was a huge buffer back then, too. A one-turn general strength buffer for one tier. I also used, uh... Obviously Mickey quite a bit back in the day. First metal that everybody gets. Vivi was another buffer, same with Aerith. Right? Yeah. Wow guys, this is so nostalgic just looking back at this and it's very, very cool to be able to do this. Cloud, huge metal. One of my favorite metals from back in the day. I honestly don't think I <clears throat> fully understood the mechanics back then because like I didn't have any healers back then, but I still ran Cloud. <laughs> One of the best medals from back in the day. Same with Sora here. And the fact that I did 15 hits was really useful for a lot of different content back in the day too. Gonna have to speed it up a little bit. We're only at 300 here. Out of our 1930. <clears throat> I remember this nominee medal. Very, very useful. In different situations. The first ever Sephiroth medal, by the way. Merlusha A. So many really cool organization medals. All the Meow Wows were really cool, too. Aqua. 
Such a beast of a metal, not a free metal from back in the day, actually. Puglet, oh my goodness. Such a notable metal. First two tiers buffer, and it actually recovered HP as well, which was super useful back in the day. Because back then, you really couldn't one-turn a lot of things. You would have to take it slower. And, uh, yeah, this, this thing was super useful because for those that didn't have Kyrie, I don't know where Kyrie is, actually. But, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Not this Kyrie. By the way. Cloud, the first illustrated tier 4 metal that I ever pulled. Just like a lot of people, I guess. Dark Sad. High score challenge metal. I believe it was high score challenge metal. From back in the day, yeah. And then you also got this as like the secondary metal from the high score challenge. Super awesome. Oh, the uh, sea salt ice cream trio. That's these guys. This was a legendary metal back in the day too. First tier four metal that I ever had, I want to say, or one of the first. And it was a high score challenge metal. Zero gauges was super useful back then. <clears throat> I think I got a single copy of this, and that's when whales were like, yo, we should stop trying to pull metals so that Square Enix is like, doesn't make us pull from the banner like 70 times before we can actually mercy. I mean, before we can get, number one, mercy the thing after 10 pulls, plus then you have to pull it another seven times to actually be able to guilt it. So. That's when, uh, it was funny because this was a big thing back then, they wanted to band together and uh, just boycott pulling, but obviously the whales broke free of that and decided to start pulling from this banner to get this medal, and half of them didn't even manage to guilt it, half of them did because they are actually whales. But uh, yeah, just a good time, man. Good times. Jack Skellington, fantastic event medal. Such a useful medal for a very, very long same with Jack and Sally. High score challenge medal. I got three copies of them. Literally the best medal that made me one of the best free to play players back in the day because I had three copies of it and as a free to play player that was basically unheard of. Like if you had one copy you were very very lucky. But I had three copies and I used all three in my setups back then. This was before traits were a thing by the way guys so that was fantastic. Marluxia B. Such an iconic medal as well. Just super useful for AoE damage. Wow, wow, wow. This is awesome, just looking back at all these medals. I wish I could physically come back into this video and click on each individual medal just to look at their arts and their descriptions better, but honestly, guys, I don't have the time to go through every single medal. We would have to do it for 1,762 medals, so not going to be able to do that, but I will go through some of the notable ones here, and then you'll see another video that should come out after this one, um, and it should be pretty fun for you guys as well. This was another... I scored challenge medal and uh, I really did like it back in the day. Never got to guilt it, so it wasn't as useful back then. But another medal that ignored target's attributes, which made it pretty good. Fantasia Mickey B. Oh my goodness. For the longest time, JP had this medal in the game and it made their lives so much easier, but we didn't have it. Like, it, it didn't exist in the global version of the game, which was super, super unfortunate. But, uh, you know what, guys? That's just the way it is sometimes. That's just the way it is. JP just gets better treatment. Tyree came out, I think, first anniversary? No, second anniversary? And, uh, fantastic medal. I think it was a 5 point mercy, and that was... That made the player base very, very happy. Because it was actually obtainable, and it was a 10 gauge restore medal. So, that was huge. That was absolutely huge. Back in the day. Nomine, the very first copy metal in the entire game. Game changer. Absolute game changer. Uh, what else do we have to talk about here? So many things, guys. I got this as a high score challenge metal back in the day, too. So, such a good metal. Very, very useful from back then, because back then, the tier buff was literally only three for everything. So three general uh, up and down, three PSM up and down, and there wasn't even upright and reverse yet, so... Cloud EX, the very first metal that I pulled as an EX metal, like the very first EX metal that I ever pulled. And uh, this one was literally 
a one pull, just super lucky pull for me. I pulled it literally as the banner came out. I was waiting for it, and it was a weird drop for this banner because it came out like in the afternoon of whatever day it was. Um, I think it was like a Thursday or something random. Like the banner came out and the medal came out to celebrate something. But uh, I ended up pulling it in one pull, so that was huge. Some more copy medals here. Beginnings, Bonds, and Sky. Great medals as well. Axel Art EX. Oh my word. If anything else, like, if nothing else, I would love to go back and look at all these artworks because they are fantastic. Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora EX. I, th I think it was a free medal when the... Or right before Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. I think. <clears throat> At that point in time, I don't remember the tier buffs and stuff like that, but I think it was up to five or seven. I could be, I don't know, I don't remember. Sephiroth EX. This is my favorite look for Sephiroth. I'm not gonna lie, that blue sword is just gorgeous. It just makes this artwork amazing. Fantastic metal. Isn't this a VIP metal? Why do I have it? Interesting. Well, I'm assuming I pulled this randomly recently from the banners or something because I didn't buy VIP back then. Like, that wasn't a thing for me. Some, some. Heck yeah. One of the best medals from back in the day as well. I never ended up getting this medal from the banner itself, which is super unfortunate, but uh, I think I got it later on in the second iteration of the Some Some banner. Oh, no, no, that wasn't even the good one. This is the good one. Sum Sum, Sora, and Riku. This was the broken one from back then when the banner came out. And you know what, guys? I missed out on the uh, World of Final Fantasy medals, and those guys were super, super good for a very long time, and I'm super sad that I never actually got a copy of any of those. Anti-form Sora. Nice. Very good, very good copy metal. Kyrie. EX. Tex. What a great medal. So, literally such a game changer from back in the day too. I think I managed to pull this in 10 pulls. I think it was a non-mercy banner too. You guys can go back to my old videos and look at those too. If you feel like it. We're 17 minutes in guys and we're only like, we're not even halfway done. So I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit more. Nothing super, super notable here. Shion the X. Illustrated Shion the X. Very nice. <clears throat> Moogle and Sora, Sora and Moogle medals. These gave you a thousand jewels per copy. Okay, so we can skip through the Dalmatians. This was cool, but uh, that was a lot of Dalmatians, not gonna lie. And uh, we ended up finally getting extra Nova from getting the 101 Dalmatians. This was a really cool event, except it was really, really like challenging to actually manage to complete because it was through Union Cross and you literally had to go through Union Cross and uh, try to collect every single one of these puppies and as you can see there's 101 of them so you needed at least one copy of each to form these metals and then from there you form these ones and then from there you form the 101 Dalmatians as long as you had a copy of Pongro and Perdita. Oh yes I remember illustrated Halloween Goofy, fantastic high score challenge metal as well, AoE damage, very good from back then. Oh yes, the ducktail medals. These were great as well. I never got Scrooge, which is unfortunate, but uh, great medals. Another nominee copy medal. I did like this guy's artwork, not gonna lie. What else, what else? Oh yeah, the BBS medals. These were really good from back in the day too. They were, they had pretty high damage ratios. I mean damage uh, multipliers, so that was pretty good. FFRK Warrior of Light, Final Fantasy Record Keeper Warrior of Light, fantastic medal, high score challenge medal, I think one of the best high score challenge medals that you possibly could have gotten, and back then we actually had Mickey and Brooms, so I managed to guilt it as a free to play player. Such a great high score challenge, honestly. Um, one of the very first reverse copy medals, so it copies like instead of, not reverse as in like it's upright slash reverse, reverse as in like backwards copy metal. Uh, other than the Sky Beginnings and Bond Trio. This was tier eight though, I think, yeah. 
What else, guys? What else do I have to tell you and show you? These were great. Stained glass medals were fantastic. I love the artwork. I don't want to go through all of them, but I, I honestly do as well at the same time. They just look amazing, you know? And if you guys ever want to go back and pause this to just have a look at it, then definitely do so. Great artworks for all those. That's why I love Kingdom Hearts. Like, the, the music is fantastic. It's so theatrical. It's beautiful. And then the artwork is fantastic as well. The story is great, even though it's super convoluted and confusing half the time. Like, I'm not going to understand 99% of the story, even when the entire game ends. Like, there's no possible way. And then from here on, we have uh, medals that we got 7-star treatment for. So literally every medal in the game got 7-star treatment. Um, and that's why, and then they, once they're 7-starred, then you unlock their full Nova. Which was pretty cool. And what was my Nova? Nova was 4,406, which is pretty crazy too. Because um, every single medal you get one Nova for just unlocking the medal itself. Like, just having the medal. And then you would have to literally um, manage to guilt the medal and get it to 7 star, fully guilted, um, to, to be able to get full Nova for it. So that's another 5 or 6, I think? I don't remember. Alright, where are we at with the new medals? Where are we at? Oh yes, 4 tellers. Did we go through these yet? Probably not, right? First tier 7 medals, fantastic medals. I had Ava. And I don't think I had any other ones until I pulled Ira. Great medals. Great medals. This guy had a crazy multiplier, but it never did actual damage, I swear. Oh, I like this key art. Key art 16. Fantastic looking artwork as well. Alright, where are we at? Where are we at? The Prime Medals, oh my goodness. These were so broken back in the day too. It's a lot of fun going over these. I probably will go over these in my live stream as well if you guys are interested, but uh, I don't know. We'll kind of go over it later. Prime Woody and Buzz, fantastic as well. Phantom. Copy Metal. Roxas was my probably my favorite Prime Metal. More high score challenge medals. Um, a really decent copy medal from back in the day, as it was tier 8. Sephiroth, oh my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful medal. Back then it was weird, because like you had prime medals, but you also had supernova medals come out around the same time. And it was weird, because like, I guess they were trying to bring back like tier four, five, six medals as prime medals, but uh, at the same time, supernova medals were pretty busted. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Elsa, very cool. You see though guys, like this game went through literally so many video games and so many movies, and that's why I love about Kingdom Hearts. It's literally a collaboration between Disney and Final Fantasy. And uh, just fantastic, like Final Fantasy Record Keeper Sephiroth, fantastic metal. Such a good metal back then. I went crazy trying to pull that metal, I think. <laughs> I literally used up all my jewel reserves and I managed to get it. Don't remember this guy, to be honest with you. Darkwa, Anti-Aqua, such a good metal too. Because it did reflect magic-based damage 100% which was crazy for PvP Coliseum. Where are we at now? We're almost done, guys. We're almost at the end of this. I think this is just about the end of the video as a whole. Um, Shion, very, very notable Renova medal, right? Wait, no, not this one. Wait, maybe it was that one. I don't know. Where are my Renovas at? Yeah, they were back here, right? Where are my... Oh, there they are. These are my Renova medals, the originals, and then Xion did reverse. Oh. 
Gorgeous medals, guys. Gorgeous medals. And that is it, guys. That is the end of this album. And we're at 91.3% completed. It's been a fun journey, guys. It's been a fun journey. Thank you guys so much for being part of it. And, uh, yeah, we will absolutely miss being part of this game, being part of this community. But uh, on to new adventures, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys um, don't mind just smashing the thumbs up button, that would be awesome. But uh, I will catch you all in the live stream that I'm literally about to record now. I mean, to go live now, but you won't see this video till after the live stream, if that makes sense. So catch y'all soon, guys. Have a great day, and may your heart be your guiding key. Peace.